EZ Lake Show St. Clair. Yeah, the man. All the bad. Bare minimum jobs. But hope is everywhere. Just, just like dope is. Hope is just your opportunities. If you stay focused, I learned that while manifesting me, being in show business, nah, all you know this was like way, way back. I ain't had no kids. All I had was a dollar and a dream. I had ambition, though. A dope story to tell. Niggas would listen, though. Get your folks. Got flow books vaulted under the kitchen flow. Time is flow. I got recycled flow. Pretty much introduce my fans or whatever. This Prestavia, y'all. You know what I'm saying? From Brooklyn. Um, to me, one of the one of the coldest female battle rappers. And to be honest, forget female battle rappers. Like I think her flow amazing. It's like the Thank dudes. You. The dudes got pressure. You know what I'm saying? Thank they you. under a lot of pressure. So I just wanted to um, ask you a few things. First, I wanted to start off, uh, you know what I'm saying, by saying once again, thanks for joining the Top Flow platform. You know what I'm saying? We are up and coming um, blogging site. You know what I'm saying? And getting guests like you is big for the brand, and I appreciate you. So I wanted to start off by asking, um, you know what I'm saying, what, what was the main thing that got you into battle rap? And it's a two-part question, like, when did you know that you was cold at it, that you was dope, and this was something that you just need to be doing? <laughs> well, you know what? Um, uh, there was there's a Christian battle rap league that was uh, that was started some years ago. All Christian battle rap league. So you have people like uh, the Saga. Before I even knew who the Saga was, the Saga and um, a few of the other guys. So there was one of the guys that I was close with, and I saw him doing it. I was like, that's dope. I think I, I think I could do that. So he kind of just plugged me in. I had my first battle on that league. Saga's on here. What's up, Saga? Um, what's up, Straight? Hello, the Saga. Yeah. So yeah, like guys like Elijah Straight. Then I met Elijah Straight and 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 those guys. Okay. So that's where it started. So I saw some of the Christians doing it, and I was like, all right, I could I could do it. You know, I could do that. And so that's that's what it was. Right, right. And then you just knew like. Once you once you seen all them doing it, once you got in there, you was just like, you know what? I know I'm cold, so I'm, I know I'm gonna be able to hold my own. Like, when did you get <laughs> develop that confidence that that you one of them ones? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, I, I you know what I had to learn it and study it because when um when I first was like getting into it, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I, I wasn't a follower of battle rap. I didn't really watch battle rap or anything like that. Like. Like Lou Cypher, he's been around for a minute. So Lou Cypher's one of the ones that I've been rapping with for like forever since we were like 18. But when Lou Cypher got into it, I didn't really get into it. I would watch his battles here and there, but I, didn't, I wasn't a real, real follower of battle rap. Yeah, so I was still learning like, okay, this is what they yeah. doing. All right, so they punching like this. All right, so they, they doing a bunch. Of, you know what I mean? So I was, I'm still a student. Right. But I was um, definitely studying, um, you know. Then, and I, you know, I'm still, I'm still learning and studying now. But um, mm -hmm. yeah, so when I when I figured out some of the formula, I was like, all right, yeah, yeah, I can do that. I can do that. Okay. And then um, I was gonna ask you, like, I've been watching your battles, you know, what I'm saying for some time now, and I wanted to ask, like, who you think your toughest opponents been thus far? You know what I'm saying? And, and the game, the one that pushed you, you think pushed your pen a little bit farther than most? Mm, well, you know what? To be honest, there was a lot. Like, when I, my first battle, my first two battles, was wasn't that many pressure. I didn't have that pressure because you don't have that, oh, you know what I mean? She, she's winning battles. So once people just had that expectation on you, it's a different type mm -hmm. of weight. So now it's just like, oh, my God. Now I definitely can't lose a battle because they're going to be, you know, like it's right, going to right, right. eventually inevitably, right? But um, so I think the first one was probably Caution because it was so much. Like in the beginning, Caution's the homie, right? She's a homie. But before mm -hmm. she was the homie, she, was talk she used to talk spicy. I was like, nah, I ain't trying to lose this battle. <laughs> talking crazy. No, no. Right, right. So, but I, and then she had Rock in her corner. She had a top tier battle in her corner. So you don't, you know, you don't know if she, she going to get help. So it's like, dang, I'm not like vicariously battling rock, which is enough. Ah. That's not easy. <laughs> so I just got yep, yep, the yep. first like for, first one where I was like, OK, I was really nervous. So a few of them, I was I was nervous. I was nervous about caution. I was nervous about TS because it was my first time. No, I wasn't as nervous about TS because she gave this kind of chill aura. She was yeah. cool. no. so I didn't really mm -hmm. feel like it was just, you know, but just being on um, first time being on. Um, uh, the Queen of the Ring. So that's what mm -hmm. it was. You know? But otherwise, I would say my first one because it was like the big one was probably Caution. Mm. Okay, that make a lot of sense. You know what I'm saying? Caution is definitely dangerous. 
And you know what I'm saying? You got an aura that come with, you know what I'm saying? Kicking it with rock too, you know what I'm saying? So I definitely agree. Caution, you know what I'm saying? Is definitely a solid opponent. So I'm chilling, right? Minding my business. And then I, I get news, you know what I'm saying? That Prestavia, you know what I'm saying? Is part of gun titles now. And I think that move is is big for gun titles. You feel me? Because I mean, to me, you know what I'm saying, as far as the upcoming um female battle rappers, you definitely on a on a fast trajectory. So, <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? How you feel about that? And you know what I'm saying, how did that come about? You know, joining I the gun like title. I was completely like you just never know who's watching you like i didn't i didn't know that any of these people knew me i don't i don't surf watching my battles you know what i mean i'm mm -hmm. like at that time uh, a couple battles in i think one of the first people that that um said something was like uh official she like retweeted something she was like yo boy like yo who's this i'm like wait official watching my battle so <laughs> that seemed kind of, even with, with all of them with jazz and with all of them that was kind of um I found out that, you know, they saw some of the battles. So when Surf, he reached out, he was super mm -hmm. humble. I'm like, wait, Sue Surf is in my inbox saying, like, you's a bad mother F. <laughs> right, 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 yeah. So Surf, yeah, yeah, so, so, yeah, so Surf was just showing a lot of love. So it was a no-brainer. I'm like, what, Surf is like, it's mm -hmm. a no-brainer. Like, he's, he's the top guy. So, um, you know, killing stuff. So, like, yeah, yeah, I want to be a part of that team. They win. That's yeah. what's up. That's what's up. I was I was just wondering, you know what I'm saying, how that came to place because I thought that was a nice power move. And yeah. you know what I'm saying? It got me so excited to see like what's going on 2022. You know what I'm saying? Now I know if I'm not mistaken, you got a battle with coming up with C three in a in couple March. months. Yeah. That was okay. that was supposed to happen before. I was super excited about it the first time. Now it's been, you know, because it was supposed to happen on the same card where A Ward battled um, Charlie Clips. And to be honest, okay. I really just wanted to be on the same card with Charlie Clips. So I was super excited. And that was like one of my first, I was like, yeah, C3, you know, I, you know, I, I respect her. She's dope. She's one of the most well rounded, um, you know, lady battlers. She's one of the most mm -hmm. well rounded ones. Um, so yeah, I was super excited. And I'm, I'm still excited now. So yeah, that's happening in March. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that's what's up. I'm, I'll be there, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'll be there? It's happening in Cleveland, right? Uh, yeah. That's where I'm from. Right. Yeah, right. so Cleveland, definitely, we, we try to make those battles in Cleveland, you know what I'm saying? That's Salute to the rap committee and all of them. But, um, okay, so that's cool. So that's cool. So you got C3 coming up. Mm -hmm. Um, Are you looking to, are you, you know what I'm saying, in it for just, you know what I'm saying, the love of the sport, or are you trying to make a woman of the year type run next year and and you know what i'm saying drive the stock even higher um uh, i mean if that happens it happens am i like like oh does it actually have you know have to have if it doesn't happen i'm just as good as if it did you know it's it's fine mm -hmm. um that's just the supporters showing that they're you know their appreciation so that's fine if it happens it happens if it doesn't that's fine as well they're a bunch of you know dope females out there so mm -hmm. um but yeah you know i definitely um Definitely in it for the love of the sport. And then uh, at the same time, you're like, oh, gosh, you have to, like, play the politics. And, you know, there's certain expectations and politics to be played. So, listen, ultimately, for me, for my heart, it's just, like, you know, for the love of the sport. So That's yeah. cool. That's what's up. That's what's up. I'm, I'm not going to even hold you too much longer. I just had a few more questions. I just wanted to know one thing, like, how you feel about Remy Molly? You know that that um she got going next year. Um, do you see yourself being a part of it, or you know what I'm saying? Because you are real. I don't know how that's working out. I don't know about the logistics behind the scene with that. Yeah, but you are real is obviously booking you. You know what I'm saying? They you had to battle with Diesel. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's like you know is is that something you interested in or? I mean, oh, again, you know, if it happens, it happens. If if I'm invited on that platform, of course, I'm not going to um, reject that. That would be a great opportunity, right? That would be a really good right. look. Right. Uh, especially since she's really trying to look out for the females, which is the most important part because, you know, the females are putting in, you know, you know, just, just about the same amount of work as the guys. So you definitely want to be compensated as such. And so the fact that, um, Remy is talking about making sure that these ladies don't get less than anything than five figures, I think is dope. 
you know, because they deserve it, especially the ones who have been around since the beginning, since the, the, the inception of the sport. Um, so I think it's a good opportunity. If I'm invited on that league, of course, I'm, a, I'm you know, I'm going I'm to be with it, um, you know. So. That's what's up. That's cool. All right, then the last thing I want to ask, you know, before <laughs> I, I let you go, and once again, appreciate your time and everything, you know. I mean? Love my hat. This, this was good. But um um like if you if you be you familiar with the verses and everything, right? Yeah. Like, I, I haven't watched it in a long time to be honest, but I'm somewhat familiar. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And and you know what I'm saying, by you being from Brooklyn and everything, you know, lately they was talking about Jay Z doing the verses. Did you have anybody in mind that you felt like would be a good match for Jay Z? He said what he said, and I stand behind what he said. Who's going <laughs> to be in on the stage with Ho? Please that's, tell me. Who's gonna that's what I was thinking. Who's the <laughs> log? Are we, are, we, are we here? Listen, I'm an 80s baby. You know what I mean? Like, the, mm -hmm. the cats, the younger cats, you know, it's for the, it's for the, mature, the mature. Like, mature folks yeah. like me, we, I, I still listen to you. Mm -hmm. That's what I still listen to, right? So, listen, right. I'm from I'm from Brooklyn. <laughs> He's from Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. I'm going to support him. If he says nobody can stand on the stage with him, <laughs> I completely concur to that statement. That's it. Wayne, that, come on. Bye. That's Who's where I was leaning to. Wayne. A couple people have Goodbye. been saying Wayne. They've been saying Goodbye. Wayne probably can mess with him, but I like, Goodbye. I'm a Wayne fan as well. I'm, I'm an 80s baby. I got to go with Hove. I don't think I don't think it's nobody really that's messing with Hove, you know. Right. What I mean? It's just I don't know. For me, especially since like it will just bring a certain type of nostalgia just hearing those songs. So for me, nothing kind of compares because mm -hmm. you know, even with like okay, you know, mostly with a lot of little Wayne's, you know, when he when he got hot, you know, I know a lot of his mixtape stuff, but it's just it's a different feel. So I guess for each person they're going to have their own <laughs> perspective so with with hove it's just too much nostalgia i'm completely biased so <laughs> I'm, not, I'm just in his catalog he he didn't feature with so many of the greatest people ever you know what i'm saying like jason he has the best features in the world mm -hmm. nobody in the, in the world, world yeah. has a feature better than hove he's the only one number one that sticks to the topic like everybody yep. else is first <laughs> arbitrary like they're just talking about random stuff yeah, Listen. especially Wayne. Wayne get into that random bag. Now I love Wayne. Don't get me wrong. He was still one of my favorite rappers. But when it yeah. compared to Jigga, it's like, oh man, you 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 off slightly on that one. I don't see nobody not nice. See what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm trying to think. You know, people was even saying he might have to go up against Beyonce. That's how cold he is. It's like <laughs> Who, that that Jay Z versus Beyonce. <laughs> right, that's the only, that's the appropriate battle, right? Just the battle. That's it. That'd be a nice one. All right, then, Prestavia. Hey, like, once again, appreciate you coming on to the Top Flow TV show. I'm going to see you, you know what I'm saying, you, hopefully you when you battle D3. I'm going to be there, you know what I'm saying? Maybe we could talk awesome. again, recap that. You feel me? Got and you. And keep up the good work. Thank you so much for this invite. All right. Had a good time. Yo, anytime. Take it easy. Peace, y'all. <laughs> You can hate when you rate my flow As long as you authentic and know I'm not in my mama basement though you weirdo Lyrical exercise I say what they won't hear though Weirdos I keep it a hundred Used to have zero teardrops on my pillow Gay info now I'm your hero Lyrical exercise I say what they won't hear though Lyrical exercise I